do. Do you know who I am? No, sir. I'm the one that banned you from the property the last time you were charging your battery. I didn't get banned because I did nothing wrong. I didn't you did get banned. I'm the one that did it. No, you are not because I've never really charged you because I got Here's a simple solution. I'm giving you the opportunity to leave. If I were you, at this point, I would take that opportunity. Well, you know I would. But I'm not missing anything by my chair going there trying to move. And if, that won't help me today. If I were you. you. The, 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 well, it's okay. If you want to lock me up, lock me up. I understand uh, the situation. I'll go to jail. Leave the property now. No, all I want to do, if you're going to lock me leave, up for no reason, leave the property my now. Chair, I'll let you do that. I Please don't leave the property no, now. Let's go to jail. So Why do you want to go to jail? Time, I've been harassed by y'all for nothing. The last time I checked, wouldn't get off that curb, and y'all locked me up instead of helping me get to a charge. I wasn't now there. Said, well, then you don't know me. Yes, because I do. I'm from Fort. Because I'm you right. were in this exact spot the last time no, I dealt with sir. you. Yes, sir. You're lying. I'm Leo Christopher Hardaway. And if mm -hmm. I go, if I'm gonna get charged and go to jail for charging my wheelchair, not bothering nobody, I think that's a great day to go. I'm not trying to start stuff with you. Never ban me. I've never given you a reason to ban me. Where's your ID, sir? I don't have one. I can give you my information, and you can call right now, and I'll go. I have no problem with going. But I do want to charge my chair and go visit my relatives. Do you see this gap in between my fingers? I'm not scared of your gap. Do you see what the I'm gap? What I'm scared of if people get messed with. This is the amount of patience that is about to run out. I don't out. care if your patience run out. I didn't come to mess up your day. I came to make it to my family's house and charge my wheelchair on the way. Well, if that's a problem for you, it is a, then it is lock a problem. me up yeah. because I've done nothing wrong. You're wasting your battery life. You could already be on your way. I don't have enough battery life to be on my way. And I'm not getting locked up like on 14th of this last month for nothing, for sitting on that curb and you watch me out. Well, how about I be the, uh, I you determine can do that. It. I, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. If that's all you got to do with your day, it takes Have you lost your mind? Much. No, I don't give a damn. Because you just don't. right is right and wrong is wrong. Oh. And God, God is the truth and the devil a lie every day. One, I've never given you a reason to mess with me because I'm rarely even over here. Two, the last time I was over here, my chair broke down over there and y'all watched Why me overnight and locked me up Why? for nothing. When I could have had somebody come and assist me get over. Okay, I can only attest to my dealings I, with you. I've you never dealt with me, McFarland, yes, because have. I'm not a problem. Yes, I have dealt with you. But then if you I work deal, this well, store you can, all the time. And I'm not here all the damn time. I know, but you did visit my store the night that I was working, the night that I banned you right, from look, this man, property. All I'm asking is, are you going to take me to jail because I'm ready to go? If that's what you really want to do, do that. But I'm not getting the rats and put out because I need to charge my chair. Not from this property. You don't. I'm hey, you said that once. Let's go to jail. Would you like another charge to put with because I closed this night? Drop it! I'm not even doing anything. 637 clear the air Food City. I was closing the night. Fucking tried my patience long enough. You shoot me if you want to for trying to close a damn night. Send for me you. another officer. I'm not harming I'm nobody. Right now. I just had a guy pull a knife on me. You the one talking about you going to take me to jail? God I hope that body cam on. It is. It's been on the whole fucking time. And I've done nothing Put your wrong. hands behind your back. Guess what? I don't care. Take me to jail. I'll beat another damn case. Cause if beat I another damn case, nothing, huh? Nothing, okay. Do it. All right. I was only cooperating. No, you weren't. I gave you the knife. What you the fuck? What would I be harming somebody for? Lock me up. I hope that body cam on because that's going to have on. to secure this shit. Step I should away, have sir. to be a rat for nothing. I don't care if you break that motherfucker, as long as you don't pay. Care you. either. I really don't. I have to leave because you want to rat. Fuck you. I'm fucking over you. I'm not, I gave you the up. chance to leave, and you want to pull a fucking knife on me. I never pulled a knife on you. You didn't? Knife. You didn't pull a fucking knife? I never harmed you with a knife. I was closing it. You're so welcome for saving your there. fucking life, because I didn't shoot your ass right Dude, here. Shut up. Yeah, you know you was not no fucking harm, or uh, nobody doing nothing to you.
on my way, that's not good enough. Make me out to be a problem I'm not. going to tell on you. Man, I ain't did nothing. At the end of the beginning of the day, I ain't did nothing wrong but try to charge my chair. Somebody will have to ride with him. Yeah, I got it. I mean, that, if you want to do that, see if we can get an EMS and route so they can transport that. I will gladly ride down there with it. Hey, Mark, you think you think they will? What? Transport him to the jail and EMS? Because, I mean, I can't. Yeah. I mean, hell. It's going to be hell on wheels if we separate him from the wheelchair yeah. to get him in the back of the car. Oh, yeah. And then somebody's got to transport the wheelchair, put it in property. I mean, with the uh, difficulties he has, it probably said the best bet is to let EMS transport him. And they should at our request. I mean, how often do they transport people back to the uh, jail ward in, uh, in ambulances? You work down there for a minute. Six or seven. Were you open, Shane? Is that car to car? Okay. Info. Car to car. It was, a bit, it was almost major crimes and crimes in six or seven car car. Will you contact? Uh, I guess the supervisor with EMS. Uh, this guy's uh, wheelchair bound. Uh, so do you pay, uh, let me ask you a do you pay it's not going to be a good idea for me to transport him, separate him from his wheelchair. Will you ask them to see if they will transport this party in, uh, in an ambulance to the jail in his wheelchair? Greg, I'll have EMS dispatch work on that and I'll let you know something that's going to come I appreciate it. I'm going back to my. Info, Charlie Baker. I'm turning off for now. I, I have no problems with you videoing us, yeah. but let's do it from the other side of our okay. police cars for right now. Right. Thank you. You did great. The video now. I'm just going to leave it rolling, so whatever. Yes, sir. I'm tired of turning Come here, I'm not for that. This is for you. 
pulled a knife on a police officer, so obviously he's going to jail on a felony charge. Uh, and he is, in my opinion, uh, not in a better condition than the do some of us dragging him into the back of the police car. And actually, I think us dragging him into the back of the police car is probably going to force him to get his disability to be specifically passed. So we request that the EMS unit come out here to, at very minimum, evaluate his health condition and at uh, very best, maybe transport him to the county for us and we'll have an officer ride with them on that. And I'm being told we're being advised to hire a private EMS unit to do that? No, we don't. We don't transport him to the jail. We'll transport him to the hospital. He needs to go with that. We need to come out and evaluate him. When, when did that stop? Because I've had that done before when we've had disabled uh, prisoners. I'm going to start on this report. we try to separate, once we try to separate him from the wheelchair, not only is it, is it going to be physically difficult, but he's going to fight, and then we have to deal with the wheelchair, that's, both of them are, are, are have got piss all over him, so, um, The city would have to pay for it. Some, so I don't. Know. We'll, we'll let the vendor and tell them to figure that out. <laughs> Put him on the flat <laughs> Evaluate him and say, okay, this guy's not dying. 
said just make it abundantly clear to the dude that he has to get in the car and we'll try to be as gentle as possible but if he does act like an idiot then you treat him like an idiot. Oh I know but I mean that's 250 pounds of dead weight. I know. Well there's four of us. I know and dead weight and, and he's he's probably hadn't a sh had a shower in months and he's he I mean he, that, that's what he does. He pees in his chair because he can't get out of it. He doesn't use the, the bottle, obviously, because it's empty. Um, He's got a towel right there. We can put a towel down in the seat. He's got, we could put him in Burton's car. He's got a bigger back seat. And put the chair in, uh, in the back of his car, and he can transport for you. You think that there's going to be more space there than in yours? There's definitely going to be more space because these don't have that much yeah. space. You want to do that? We'll put them in his car. I mean, that's why I had him stay because he's got no room in his trunk, so we can put that chair in the trunk for sure. Oh, that chair is going to fit, transport. though. Um, all right, let's drop him over there. We'll put him in his car. This is his uh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Hardy, whatever your name is, Hardaway, why don't you save that?
said yes. Hey, Mr. I said, Hardaway. Well, let me give you this, and I proceeded to close the knife. Was that, that your exact he words? The knife on Well, his, his body came will show you. You sure are happened, great. So. I'm at it. How big is the knife? How big is the knife you were talking about? You are correct. It's a folding knife. And it was ready to go. Yeah, is it is the blade bigger than the allowance by law? Because it's also an awful possession if it's over I think it's four inches. No, it's not. Yeah, that's, that's, all. that's it. But it was it was unfolded and ready to go. He says, Well let me give you another reason uh, to take me to jail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't until There's I There's anyone to evaluate and the captain I spoke to was going up to his director. Because they're afraid of abandonment. And I'm like, look, you're under police orders, so there's no abandonment. You're, you're following ours. If you want to evaluate him and say, okay, we can't transport him to jail because he's you know, got this medical issue, that's fine. Um, if, if you're saying, okay, he's in, you know, he's in, he needs emergency medical care right now, okay, we're good with that. But if he's not at that point, then we're requesting the transport. And if this doesn't happen, relationships are going to happen. Why are you in a wheelchair, big guy? I see the electric swallow. I'd rather not talk about my personal problem. I've got a bigger problem. Well, let me explain why we're asking first. I want you to understand why we're asking. Because we're trying to figure out how to get you down to the county jail, which is the difference between us dragging you to a police uh, car or... Signed off. I don't think you care about me right like now. I, I, I care about your health. I don't, I don't care about your criminal matter. I'll get that broken down on here in a second. Oh, you know, your criminal matter is between you and him. I don't uh, care about that. That's south. That's south. That's not. They're all signed off. So let's talk about your health. What's your health? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Starting Watson. I have not been able to research underneath him, so I don't know what's underneath him. It doesn't matter that your battery's going dead. For the record, your battery is on two red bars. Thank you. That's how I need to know. Plenty enough to get to you where you were going. How full is your trunk? Uh, it's not full. Okay. Well, let's get him in the car, and then what we'll do is, if you got anything that is breakable in there, because we're going to set this down in the trunk if we can. There we go. This thing is so sensitive. I'm sure he's an expert with this. I'm not, guys. So. Okay, I'm going to turn it off so it doesn't roll anywhere. What he's going to do is uh, cuff your hands in front of you, because obviously you got injuries. <laughs> 